I'm hoping you got a chance to experiment with lowercase i, uppercase i, lowercase a, uppercase a, lowercase o, and uppercase o, those six commands. So I'm going to skip all of this. This is all explained really well in the textbook, so you might want to try it on your own. I'm going to move on to some other VI topics. Uh, let's take a look at what happens when you enter the space key or the when you hit the space bar or the tab key backspace or return while you're in text input mode okay so let's go to our VI editor and we'll edit this file that we've been working on XYZ let's position ourselves somewhere in the middle over here okay let's go into text input mode I'm gonna hit use I my favorite lowercase I so notice I'm in insert mode at this point let's see what happens if you type in this space tab and things like that so I'm gonna try space first so I hit space you just move everything over one space okay, and you can do that any number of times okay I'm gonna hit escape and I'll hit U to undo that change okay now I'm gonna hit I again and I'm gonna hit the tab key unlike what it says in the book right now VI on the live DVD that you have should give you a single tab character that's equivalent to three spaces so watch this I'm gonna hit and I'm gonna hit the tab key escape it moved to the next tab stop oops sorry I said three but it's looks like it is one two three four five six sorry six spaces but it's one character so you can you can see that by uh, using the arrow keys so I'm positioned at the at the end of the tab character if I move one over that is I use the arrow key just once it moves all the way over to the character before the tab so because here it looks like it's six spaces and you can change this you can change the tab character to mean as the book says eight characters or three which is why I usually prefer and but in this case I think it depends where you are let's try that again I'm gonna put another tab character hit I hit tab and escape let's count this this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. In this case, seven characters. So it must be whatever tab stops are set up by default. And I, I guess uh, the book is sort of right. It's in that it's it looks like each tab stop is about eight characters apart. It doesn't give you eight spaces. It's still so if you're positioned at the last. Uh, if you're positioned at the end of the tab and you hit one, the arrow key once, you go all the way, in this case, seven characters over. Okay, so don't let that throw you off. Um, so pressing the tab usually produces eight spaces. Well, it's one. It's just one character, one tab character, but it's roughly, I guess, each tab character is about eight spaces apart and this size as they say is changeable Okay. Uh, backspace moves the cursor one character over to the left let's try that so I'm gonna hit I and then I hit and I have a Mac keyboard so I'm gonna hit the delete key I don't have a backspace so So I hit I to insert, but then I can use the delete key to delete lines before that, and I hit escape, and all those characters disappeared. Okay. All right, and then the return. So if you're in text mode and you hit return, you always get a new line. Okay, so I'm going to hit, I'm going to use A because I want to let's say start that I'll have that T be the last character of the line so I'm going to hit A go into insert mode after the T 
hit enter or return if you have a Mac keyboard and I get a new line or everything that I type will appear on this new line and I hit escape okay so if you hit enter when you're in text mode you go into you give yourself a new line all right um, there are special cases you have to consider when you hit enter so take a look at that command mode uh, cursor movement we've gone through use the arrow keys or H J K and L that should be L all right and you might want to print this out or just keep this handy when you're getting started but I'm guessing that you'll get used to this pretty fast but it's always good to have something like this printed out and some of the other things that you can do so there is the dollar and zero which is the most useful word moves forward by one word B moves backward by one word E goes to the end these are useful sometimes you know if you're doing a lot of VI work okay so let's say you're over here and you go dollar so I'm gonna hit press the shift key and then four for dollar and I'll go to the end of that and notice you get the row number and the column number so this says I'm on line six on the 42nd character of that line okay so let's go back over here somewhere let's go to the five and then go to and I'll hit just the zero key so if I want to enter something at the very beginning I can either use uppercase I or I can press zero like I'm going to right now zero gets me to the beginning of the line and then now I can hit lowercase I and insert text okay so that was dollar versus zero let's try W so I'm going to hit W once and W again W again it considers the hyphen to be the starting point of a new word so if you're writing code words may not be exactly what uh, you think of when you're writing just English text okay I'm hitting W now I'll go to, I'll press E once I go to the end of that word okay so that's these characters I mean or these keys dollar sign W B E zero um, let's try the space bar backspace they work about the way I think you would you would I'm using the arrow keys right now okay so I'm gonna hit enter just move on to the next line enter again enter again enter again okay I hit delete key and I go back one you could just as well use the left arrow it will be about the same um, let's see return delete and what else space so I'm using a Mac keyboard so although it says backspace and most people most of you will have a backspace I don't I have a delete key because of my Mac keyboard and if I hit space, it's just like the right arrow. Okay. Pretty straightforward, no problems there. Nothing confusing, I hope. So go through this um, figure. Make sure you know the differences between these. It's not that important. You can always go, you can always use the arrow keys. Okay. And we'll start up again in the next section with uh, text correction. So this is where we look at a whole bunch of other commands that will get you into text input mode. These are X, U for undo, R for replace, there's also S, um, and a bunch of other things.